Hello everyone and welcome to a new video on my channel. This is Amex and this is World War 2 trade card game. And today is the first day where I record on my PC. I don't use my mobile phone right now and I hope that this will improve the overall quality of the recordings as well as uh, making it easier for me to uh, edit and upload all the videos. So today I downloaded Bluestacks. Uh, see it here, it's Bluestacks. Um, and I also could stream now on Twitch or YouTube, whatever. And I also got a new account since I downloaded the the Bluestacks app. And let's change to English real quick. Uh, Ah, there we go. Oh, I have to restart the game, okay. So let's do this real quick. It's also possible now for me to add some music. As you can hear, it's uh, Sabaton with Bismarck, one of my favorite songs. And now I have this new account and I started uh, with this match. Uh, oh, okay, it starts just by clicking. Oopsies. Yeah, okay. I don't play right now. But I could do a beginner guide for World War II TCG. Uh, if someone wants to see some of this, didn't I just retreat? Oh, I clicked retry. Okay, that's why. <laughs> Stupid. Okay, so uh, now I can log into Facebook real quick and then. We'll start a Monday morning chess opening and play some PvPs. There we go. So these are the loot crates we got for our raids, all the weekly uh, loot. I still have to check on the first video how the sound is. I don't know how much you can hear the in-game sound. I hope it's not too loud, I hope it's not too quiet. But I will figure that out and uh, maybe I can edit some of that. And if not, I will change it for the next time. I had some problems with setting the sound up, but I think it should be should be okay. So here we go. Okay. Out of the officer or enlisted chests, I could use some panther. I could use some German Iron Cross and uh, except for that I pretty much got everything I need. Maybe some Japanese cards, that's also cool. Uh, 
Oh, burn up Montgomery. I don't really need that, but it's nice to have. German card. Dude, why is the rare so orange? I thought this was like legendary. Oh, this is a war chest I didn't even realize. Oh, this is cool. I could use that maybe and I think I have 15 of these so I don't need it either. Hmm. Okay, it's nothing cool. I thought I could maybe use something out of this chest. So let's see what else do we got. This is also cool. I have high expectations. Okay. The rare was blue. I don't know if this is a bug or something. Oh, high expectations. Go, go, go! And again, the rare was blue. But why is it like that? German card and the last chest no actually it's not the last chest oh war chest that's cool no German card though now the rare was orange again I don't understand it okay we opened the chest and we can go to the shop real quick let's see if there's something nice for me uh, I can open the duties uh, chest. Let's see what we got. Two German cards in the last slot. That's pretty cool. Okay, that's not cool. That's not cool either. Fuck. <laughs> Ten. Three. But I can craft that, I think. Maybe I can craft that. Let's see. I think this was the basic edition. Oh yeah, I can craft it. I already have it crafted one time. So. Okay. So let's sell these cards real quick. Oh, these two of these. This one. I think I can sell two of these. some more gold I don't really want to open chests right now let's start with some PvP let's check who's first at the moment Bugs. okay 1944 okay so let's try to find a match 
And while we're doing so, uh, I wanted to answer some comments. Uh, there was a question. I have to take my mobile phone real quick. Somebody asked some questions. Hui Huang Li Li. I hope I didn't spell that. Not very bad. Um, what do you think about American cards? What is the best faction to go for? Uh, that depends on how you start, I guess. Like what kind of legendary you get first, and I would try to stick to that. Uh, the best faction. I would say are the Japanese. Uh, Japanese planes and ships is very very strong. Uh, but it's also very expensive. For There's not really a beginner deck or something that I would recommend. Uh, I think it's just... What you like most? This. Yeah. So I don't really think there's a uh, real uh, best faction to go for, except for Japanese, maybe, uh, because. Number one and two in the PvP ranking are both playing Japanese cards, I think. Um, I hate it when that happens. Why is this even considered for this damage if it doesn't take any damage? Like, either way, it should get damaged because it's like the effect of the card. Or it should be considered. Uh, yeah, but uh, if you want to have fun in the game, then I would just say play what you want to play and. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. There also was another question. How you get too many cards? I am new player and this is uh, this game is so hard to rate on mission. Uh, so actually the best way to uh, get a lot of cards is playing the uh, playing the the campaign. Oh, that was dumb. But never mind. So you get, I think, one or two cards every uh, this year. I think you get one or two cards every match and every five matches or every ten matches you get a chest with five cards or something and I would play as far as I come and when I when it starts that I uh, don't come further because the enemy is too hard to get through then I would switch to missions and I would just choose a mission that uh, is recommended by the community or you just try out every mission and choose what you like best and you can always play the easy mission for free and you can get as, as a reward you can get 30 to 40 gold you get one to two cards and you also get these 
uh, oh. you can get these points here. And at the end of the week, if you are in a platoon, I think you have to be in a platoon. At the end of the week, uh, the game checks out how many of these points you have and uh, depending on that you get gold uh, with which you can buy crates or chests. And I also would recommend to look for a maybe top 20 platoon. Uh, I think Kampfschweine always has some slots. Yeah, they have three slots left and uh, let's see what's here. They also have a, a slot left so if you ask in global chat everybody's looking for new players so just uh, try to find a cool platoon that maybe is even speaking your language or maybe uh, English. I think everybody's speaking pretty much English in their platoons and this way you can get access to the raids these are the uh, single player raids the Baltic OP, Battle of Remagen, Operation Dynamo and these with the skull are the platoon raids uh, you have to be in a platoon and you really have to be in a platoon you can't do these raids alone is, except for when you're a very uh, very experienced player with a lot of uh, good cards and but for a beginner player it's impossible to do and yeah then just play the missions play these uh, this campaign and uh, yeah when you get a legendary card which are these ones like for example you get three German legendary cards then it's a good idea to go more into that direction or maybe you get three British cards then it's a good idea to go more into that direction because you already have some very rare cards of that specific faction and uh, obviously these cards are better than normal cards so if you get a higher amount of one nation uh, of, of these legendaries then it's a good idea to go in that direction I think and maybe you only get one of each faction then I would look towards these and see what you get there maybe you get five Japanese and only two American then it's a good idea to go into the Japanese direction so yeah this is pretty much uh, what I could recommend a new player and as I mentioned before, I will start a series of uh, a beginner tutorial kind of and show some tips and tricks on how to build decks for special uh, campaign missions uh, because in some missions you uh, are not allowed to kill the enemy player and uh, there are some decks that are really good for that yeah and I will show some tips and tricks and I also will upload some uh, raid guide um, some mission guides as soon as I can play these missions confidently and uh, I like let's say 90% chance to finish them and uh, get the rewards uh, I think operation torch is pretty easy for me it's just spamming British infantry wherever you can and I also think 10 go is pretty easy and maybe the Russian, uh, I think it's Barbarossa. Uh, 
I don't know if it was Barbarossa, but <coughs> yeah, I think these uh, are my one, some of my favorite missions. So let's see. Okay, American ships. Hmm. I think this was not the turn that he would have loved to have. Uh, let's do quick math. One, two, three. Okay. So we do this. Then we do this. And then we do this. This and this and let's go. I hope that sometimes you can edit this avatars. It's like nice to have but not really necessary but I would like to see some different uniforms or maybe you can customize it a bit like helm camouflage helmet camouflage or some equipment like a weapon I just wanted to say AK but AK is uh, way too young for this time but maybe a Thompson or an MG40 or something like that this would be pretty cool but it's just like not necessary it's just nice to have when everything else is running fine but I think there are some things that have to be fixed first okay so he can't really block my next turn 23 25 and this is 21 okay let's see where I can oh this card also attacks so just do like this, this, and to do this, and I still could do this. GG, first UA front. I think this is how it's spelled. First, or yeah, first UA front is the way to to name it. I think. Okay, let's do one more PVP. I don't have a clue how much time I'm recording already because my streamlabs doesn't show I think or does it somewhere let's check real quick yeah I don't know I don't think so yeah but we'll do one more PvP and then I think I'll start to edit this video then I'll upload it and after that I think I will start to stream hello can I please okay. oh German planes and infantry that's pretty cool um <clears throat> let's see what we do here I don't really like that turn this one's a bit better uh, we we'll play this one here and we we'll play this one here this this and promote the oh shit I okay never mind it's not that bad this card has two reinforced thicker armor oh I want to have this card I really want to have this card no this wasn't the card dude it was done so quick I couldn't even check if this was the card I meant uh okay let's see um and do this this and this then we can give 
this to everyone for free, then we can promote this and attack. I like this combination a lot. And there's one of my favorite cards, I think it was one of the first, if not the first diamond card I ever crafted. It's quite possible, I don't know, but yeah, I really like it. Actually, this was unnecessary, but let's just right, finish this fight. And with this victory, I think it was the second, so we can collect some rewards. Yeah. Okay, so I think I will do as I said. I will edit the video, I will upload the video, and then I'll start to stream, and then we do some raids, some PvP matches, some historical missions. Oh, I wanted to check what the Russian mission was called. Citadel, I think it is. Or Stalingrad? I don't know. One of these two PDs. And this one of my favorite. And this one's also pretty easy. But there's only hard. So, this was it for right now. I hope I'll see some of you in the stream. And uh, yeah, tell me if you want to have a beginner guide, like the missions, how to play them, and uh, what to pay attention to. And if you want to see something like this, I would start the series. Maybe like 20 episodes. Maybe I play the whole. Uh, campaign, but I think no, I, I think that's too. That would take way more than 20 episodes. But I would play as far as I come, and I also would not spend a single dollar because on this account I paid some money, I would say. Because sometimes these offers are really tasty. Especially the ones with minus 75%. Uh, yeah, I sometimes am very weak and can't say no. <laughs> so, anyway, this was it. As always, have a nice day and stay safe.